Hey, what's up? It's Triggy. Everyone knows triangles are the strongest shape, but what does that actually mean? Let's start by talking about different types of forces that a structure experiences. These are typically described as axial, shear, bending, and torsion. Relevant for us are axial forces, which are the tension or compression along the length of a structural member, and bending forces, forces that cause a member to, well, bend. Building materials are much more likely to fail if they're subjected to a bending force. With axial forces, the stress is distributed evenly along the member, but with bending forces, the stress is concentrated to the edges of the member, meaning the member will fail even with smaller forces. This is pretty easy to demonstrate. Grab a pencil or a toothpick or a chopstick. You can cause all of these to fail easily by bending them, but try breaking it by pulling on each end. It's going to be much more difficult. This means when we're designing structures, we want to avoid rotational forces, especially at the joints where you have the most leverage. So how can we go about building structures with minimal or no rotational forces? This may surprise you, but engineers will often model structural joints as pin joints, basically just hinges, which offer no resistance to bending whatsoever. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just weld the joints to make them stronger? Well, remember, we want our design to avoid rotational forces entirely, since trying to resist them is inefficient and ineffective. Using pin joints guarantees that there are no rotational forces at the joint because there's nothing there to resist rotational forces at all. This means all of our forces are guaranteed to be axial. Using this framework of pin joints, how do we make structures that aren't all wobbly? Well, let's try. You might have tried this experiment at school. Almost any shape you choose is going to deform since there are rotational forces at the joints. Except for a triangle. The structure stays rigid and we can be certain that there aren't any rotational forces at the joints because if there were, the joint would rotate like in the other cases. Remember, the pin joints we're using offer no resistance to rotational forces whatsoever. That means the reason these joints aren't rotating is not because of resistance to rotational force, but because all of the forces are axial. So wait a minute, does that mean anytime we build anything, it's basically just triangles? Yes, exactly. Well, anything that's trying to be efficient. Networks of triangles are called trusses, and you can see them all over the place. Cranes, radio towers, bridges, houses, transmission towers, these are all truss structures. Even if a structure is not strictly made out of trusses, angles will often be supported by triangles. A designer may try not to use triangles for aesthetic purposes or because a structure doesn't need to bear heavy loads, but in general, it would be way stronger if they did. So in what ways are triangles the strongest shape? They distribute the applied force most evenly across the members, mitigating concentrations of force that would cause the members to fail. So maybe we should call triangles the most efficient shape, but that doesn't have the same ring to it. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.